Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a full face of Chanel Classics. I have pulled out my tried and true Chanel products. Many of these are best sellers for a reason. So I thought what we would do is create this look using a full face of classic Chanel products. And of course, we're going to be ending with fragrance of the day. And I pulled out one of my favorites from the Le Exclusive line. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look using full face of Chanel classics, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to do a full face of Chanel classics and many of these are my absolute favorites. So I'm going to start out with the La Beige. This is the water fresh tint and I just love this stuff. So this launched a few years so this launched a few years back and I swear it is like magic in a bottle. So I often just wear this just as my foundation. Today we're going to play with another one that I got a request for. So you can use this product multiple ways. You can use this as your foundation. It is going to have very light coverage, but it does blur your skin. It plumps it up. I think it is fantastic for all skin types, but especially for dry mature who maybe you don't need as much coverage, but you definitely want a little tint and for your skin to get a little nice hydration and plumping effect, then the water fresh tint is for you. And I just take a pump like this. It is definitely very watery. And then I am going to buff this into my skin. So this is one pump of the Water Fresh Tint and then this is in medium light. Love, love, love this so much but I am going to put on a little bit of foundation and a classic from Chanel is the CC cream and I just adore this. Now the CC cream is actually unique in the fact that it actually has a lot of coverage. So it has some color correcting properties in it. It has an SPF of 50. The SPF in the CC cream is a mix of physical and chemical and it does have have a light Chanel scent. So this may not be for everyone. My skin is fussy, but I don't tend to have any issues with the CC cream and it is easy to use. So great kind of year round, easy go-to foundation. I have it in the shade beige 30. So here is the CC cream and in general with these two foundations, these are sort of my two go-to Chanel favorites. I often just wear this alone or this alone, but there is days when I will combine the two for an extra hydrated glowy look. Next, I'm going to use the Le Corrector and I like to use this one in rose, which is very brightening. So this is going to go so a little goes a long way. I just really go into that darker area in the hollows of the eyes. Using my fingertips then, I will pat this down and around the eye to give myself a little brightening effect as well as sort of a eye lift temporary.
Next, I pulled out the La Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And yep, I love this stuff. So I tend to use this a lot in the fall, winter months into spring because it's going to give me a very natural bronze on the skin. It's not going to look overdone, but it is going to warm up my skin. So this is in the shade 390. So this is the lighter version of this. And I like to take the It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion brush or any synthetic brush. And then I am just going to warm up my skin and because it is a cream it's just going to melt into the skin and look super natural I will often do the three technique where you are taking from the top of your forehead underneath the cheekbone and then underneath the jawline so just a little three on the face works really well as far as giving yourself a little warmth I will just add it anywhere where the Sun would naturally hit my skin after I put on the bronzing cream I will go ahead and set my face and as far as powders go I actually prefer for the La Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Sheer Powder and I have this in the shade number 20. Okay, moving on to eyes. I pulled out two of my favorite go-to eye quads. And today I'm actually going to use Claire Obscure because this is like my most used matte eye quad from Chanel. But I also love the classic Tisse Revelé. These are these are two classic eye quads from Chanel. This one is definitely going to have more shimmer effect on the eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. This Claire Obscure is a classic satin matte that I find that more people might be intrigued by. This is your go-to sophisticated everyday Chanel eye look. So I'm going to use that one today and I pulled out my Chanel. This is the blender shader brush. You guys see me use this all of the time and I'm going to start with this basic sandy shade right there. We are going to place this down on the eye as a base. Then I'm going to go over into this shade right here using that in the crease. Then I'm going to come over to this little shade here. I'm using the flat edge side of my blender shader and I am going to add a little bit of depth to the outer V. So a classic matte eye look here. Then I'm going to come into this darker chocolatey shade and I'm going to define the lash line. I'm actually using the definer smudger from Chanel.
Okay, so far we've created a classic everyday soft smoky eye. And then I'm going to take two of their Lestilo UI pencils. My favorite is in Brune Agape, which is a chestnutty brown. And then I also have it in Espresso, which is just what it's called, kind of a black coffee color. This is Espresso and this is Brune Agape. And what I'm going to do is use Brunagape on the lower lash line and Espresso up on the top to really define that top lash line. I'm going to start with Espresso, which is down to the itty bitty end, I just realized. And then using Brunagape in the bottom waterline. Okay, I have defined the lash lines with those two Lestilo U eyeliners. Those are a classic, they are waterproof. Once they are on your eyes, they are going to stay in place and that's part of the reason I love them. So I'm gonna go clean up my brows and then I'm gonna put on the classic. This is the Chanel Volume de Chanel Mascara, an absolute classic that I still love. It's gonna provide your lashes with a little impact give you that extra volume and a bit of curl. This is the brush on the Volume de Chanel. It's a classic for a reason, just a fantastic mascara. Okay, we have our eyes on sort of a classic Chanel look. And now we're gonna put on a little bit of blush. And one of their best selling colors is actually Rose Bronze. And it is exactly that. It is a beautiful rosy bronze color. It looks fantastic on all skin tones. And it is one of my personal favorites. So, I am going to pop a little bit of this on my cheeks, then we'll move on to some classic lips. And here is the color Rose Bronze. I also pulled out one of their classic highlighting powders and this one is in ivory gold. It's so pretty and I actually like to pop a little bit of this on my eye look as well as putting a little on my cheeks today. I'm going to take just a little bit of this beautiful highlighter. So pretty. Taking whatever's left on the brush here and I'm just going to put a little bit up on that brow bone. And taking what's on my finger, I'm going to put just a little bit of this on my eye look. This is optional. You could just keep with that all satin matte look. But if you wanted to take it up a notch, you can add just a little to your eye look. 
It's not going to add too much glam, but just enough. Okay, moving on to lips. We have lots of classic Chanel lipsticks. I'm going to start with my favorite lip liner, and this one is in 164 Pivone. And this is my go-to favorite lip liner. I love to wear this alone with my favorite lip glosses and I will use this with my favorite classic Chanel lipsticks as well. So I am going to line my lips real quick with this. This is a swatch of Pivone, and it pairs perfectly with the classic Chanel lipstick in Mademoiselle. And here is the shade Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle is a warm toned, medium to dark pink, and it has a little bit of a pearl finish. And this is Mademoiselle. And then for a more natural nude lip combo, I love the lip liner. This one's in Rose Natural, which is a perfect nude and then I pair that with Adrian and Adrian is your classic pale nude so gorgeous it leans a little bit more on the peachy side And this is Adrian. And the classic moisturizing lipsticks are just that. They are moisturizing. They feel fantastic on your lips. But if you wanted to add a little bit more gloss to it, I would recommend Burnt Sugar. This is number 724 and it is just a gorgeous warm toned nude. Okay, now we're going to finish with fragrance of the day, and I pulled down Jersey. This is from the Lay Exclusive line, and I feel like this doesn't get as much love as it deserves. This to me is comfort in a bottle. It is like putting on a really soft cashmere wrap. This is a soft floral. There is a dominant note of lavender, but what I have found is that the lavender softens, that this definitely warms up on the skin. It's got this really beautiful layer of rich vanilla in here. So it's a teeny bit sweet from the vanilla. This is a unisex fragrance. All fragrance is unisex, but oftentimes lavender is in more fougere colognes. And so it starts out with that dominant lavender. To me, it smells a little bit more like walking into a field of lavender, like a spa-like experience. But then you're going to get this slight powderiness, a very sophisticated white musk. So this is a soft, comforting, almost relaxing spa-like kind of fragrance. I just love to pull this when I am a little bit stressed out. I have a lot of work hanging over my head and I need to have a bit of calmness in my life. I will pull out Jersey. This is an elegant, effortless kind of scent. It is going to wrap you up, calm you down, and it's an overall 
feel good kind of scent. So absolutely love Jersey having one of those days where I just feel like I need a little bit of calmness in my life. And I feel like this fragrance needs a little love because it is truly a beautiful scent. Okay guys, this is my full face of Chanel Classics ending of course with a fragrance of the day and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, I always like to hear what your favorite classic Chanel favorites are. So leave those down in the description. So leave those down in the comment box below. I hope your week is off to a good start and I will be back with another video soon.